You know, as this European debt crisis escalates, we've heard over and over again that a default in Greece or really any other country would threaten the financial system. But who exactly is at risk? How much money are we talking about in the system? I want to bring in our Bloomberg reporter, Christine Harper, uh, to help sort this out. And, you know, Christine, it all started with a question we had yesterday in our meeting, which is, you know, who exactly, what are, you know, which are the banks uh, that are going to be most at risk to this? And you mentioned uh, something very interesting, right? Angela Merkel, with this naked short selling, had a list of the banks targeted. Could they be the ones most vulnerable? Well, that appears to be uh, one of the uh, interpretations the market is making of that short selling ban. Actually, if you look back in the U.S. in July 2008, um, Chris Cox, who is then commissioner of the SEC, provided a list of banks he, he opposed, uh, he banned a naked short selling on. They were all the banks that ended up having a lot of problems, or oh, really? most of them. So it's it's I, the, for and, the market. You see it as a signal. And some of them, I just want to, you know, in case our viewers don't know, Allianz, a Deutsche Bank, and a bunch of others that I can't pronounce uh, <laughs> in Germany and elsewhere. Uh, but I mean. Do any of them actually pose a systemic risk in Europe? Well, what I would point people to, and my colleagues in Europe did an excellent chart back at the end of April where they listed some of the exposures of the European banks. And what you see in there is that some of the German banks like Hypo Real Estate, um, Commerce Bank, uh, Munich Re have exposure to German sovereign debt. Um, so if there is a German default, they would take losses, apparently, unless they've hedged that. Um, and some of the French banks have uh, own, um, like Credit Agricole owns a, a Greek bank. Um, Societe Generale owns a majority share of a, a Greek uh, bank. So that means that even if you have exposure not to Greece, but you have exposure to some of those Germans or some of those French, okay, that, then you that will. it creates a, a problem going forward for them. And just quickly, Christine, here in the U.S., which bank is most exposed? Who's in, more, who's in most trouble? Well, there's really imperfect information, which is one of the problems that people are having in trying to figure out what to do. Bank of America gave a really impressive uh, a chart in their 10Q that came out uh, earlier this month, which laid out their exposures. Most, most of it is really to the bigger countries, to Spain, to Italy to Ireland and not so much to Greece, not so much to Portugal. Um, similarly, JP Morgan has said their exposure is about $20 billion, mm -hmm. although, of course, that's not, that doesn't mean they would lose $20 billion. That just means just if they had to give a worst case scenario. Okay. All right, Christine, thanks for sorting that out.